is the castle from the outside. As you can observe, here is the front with a lower bridge, so no one, no one, if the, even if they were trying to attack, no one can pass by. As you can see, here is the left side of the castle. You can see the moat, you can see the wood, and you can see the keep. See the statue. You can see the part of the bailey. You can see a little farm that we made. Here's a tower. Then here's the rest of the moat. You can see the back of the keep. Um, then behind you, which you cannot see, is the port with a little boat resembling a kind of a Japanese style. Then there's the other farm. To your left is the marketplace. And then you can also observe the pub. Oh, sorry for that tree. You can also observe the pub. And we're back to the front. As you can see, there's also the smoke coming out of the towers. And yeah. Here, as you can see, we see the stairs bringing up to the castle. If there was an enemy army, they couldn't come in because the drawbridge was down. But since we are friendly, we can go bring the drawbridge up and then we can pass by. That's the murder hall where they would dump boil, and that's the gate that you can go through. If you come in, the first thing to your right is a pub. Here are some alcohol beverages that the soldiers can have and the citizens of this little castle can have. The beer, some tables that you can sit around or you can just stand around, whatever you desire. As you go more forward into the castle, you can see the fountain with our great gold duck. Some call him our god. Here's the marketplace where you can trade weapons, armor, clothes, spices and things like meat. Here's the, the pond. And then here, as you can see, are some pigs that we take our meat from. If you go through these stairs, you will serve nature to your front and some hole to the right so that they, you can't get shot at if you're getting invaded. There's a good built wall so you can be good defended if they're invading you. Here's the tower. Here's a ladder so you can go to the top and the archers can throw... Oh, sorry for that. The archers can throw uh, arrows at the attackers while they're trying to avoid them. Here's the bottom floor and... If you go up to the ladder again and to the right, you can you can go back to the outside of the wall. If you keep going and you turn to the your right again, you will go back to the bailey and the marketplace. To your right, you see the stable with all the horses, a villager to take care of them and make sure they're well fed. And then if you keep going to the right is the keep. In the keep, there's two armor stands. But if you turn to the left, is where the armor and places for the soldiers are kept those are underground so they're not shown here are the beds where the soldiers would sleep uh the two-story bed here's the dungeon if you go down it's not very good lighting up so the prisoners can't really see anything and they can like spend their time in the dark so they cannot remember what light feels like you can see skeleton heads and zombie heads of our past prisoners if you go up again and go through the spiral stairs, you will see Kemo in the way. Then, if you go to the balcony, here's where the king and queen can like go up in the morning and night and observe the views of the castle. That's where the sun sets. If you go, you can see the chandelier on top. Here's where the king and queen will sleep. There's Kemo in the way again. And then, if you go down through the spiral stairs again, now we are going into the main hall, the most important part. You can see a chandelier on top. You can see some paintings, color tainted windows, and then you can see the throne, you can see the decorated table. Here's where the king would sit down, he would observe everything, talk to his people. And then if you go down, you keep going, you can see chairs where his council will stand, where they can eat. Keep going, there's a little garden here, and then there's a little house for the pe for our personal peasants. This is where they sleep with the fireplace. Then if you keep going through this, you can observe the little hotel that we have. Not really a hotel, they always sleep here for the peasants in our village. Then if you go down again and you turn to your right, you can go into kind of the party house, if you would call it like that. There's two beds so people can sleep, but there's also the bench with tables, the jukebox. Yeah, it's pretty fun. And then if you turn to your right again, you can go to the other peasant house. This is a really simple peasant house with two beds, no lanterns or anything. If you keep going and you turn to your left, you will observe the stairs. If you go through the stairs and turn to the left, you can go to one of the front towers. 
There's torches all along the way so the soldiers at night could defend themselves good. Here's the wooden passage. You can go up again and observe the views. And in case you're being attacked, you can shoot through the gaps. There's the moon and everything. And then if you go down again, you can go in between the towers so the soldiers could go from tower to tower without getting shot at. This would be used so they could evade in case one tower got overcome by the enemy. There's always torches in every wall because the soldiers need to be able to see at night just in case and in the day because there's no windows there. If you go up through the ladder, you will observe the top part of the tower again where you can observe all the views from around the castle and the archers could shoot from. If you go down the ladder again, you will go into the you can go in be, into the wall where the archers would shoot there's the moon but they would only be here to take guard and just in case they were getting invaded they could attack they could defend themselves there here's the soldier training session where they could do duels in between each other those chests where they could like store kind of their training weapons some plantations so they the soldiers and the royal family can eat and then if you keep going and you turn to the right again, you go into the tower. If you go up to the stairs and you go to the tower, you will notice that there is little holes in the wall. And those were used for a very specific purpose. If you go down through the ladder, you can see the holes that I was talking about. These holes were used to shoot arrows that couldn't be shot back at you. So you could hit the enemy, but the enemy couldn't hit you. At first, they were very wide, but as farther they went into the wall, the narrower they were. If you go through here, here's the port where the merchants would come through. This is the royal boat where you have to do a little trip to get in. And then this is the main cabin where the person who would drive the boat would be at. This is the map, you can observe the boat in there too. That is very well drawn. Also, if you go down through these um, little like, lever things, you can see the beds where the slaves that would carry the boat would be at. This is where they would sit down to move the paddles to move the boat. Those are some lanterns so they could see at night. Chests so they could keep their clothes and belongings. Those barrels with gunpowder so they can shoot. Their weapons that were also kept in the chests. Some more barrels just in case they were carrying some sort of spice and things like that. This is the boat from the outside. You can observe the things that you can move with. And that's it.